Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the losers final match already in progress between McDevitt Esports and Mannheim Township. Uh, and uh, it looks like they uh, already have a point on the side of McDevitt here on Nepal. We're just in the first map so we didn't miss too much. Uh, joined here by Chris from Emerald Esports. How you doing Chris? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, happy to be here doing some match moderation while I'm providing color for you today and you know I'm just happy to step in here <laughs> yeah oh and a uh, big kill out from Jax onto Paz's Echo uh, so far from what I've seen from uh, a bit of uh, team play from Echo is that the best Echo counter is Echo she is a broken hero <laughs> yeah she's she's pretty good and one of the key things that you're gonna want to look for for these Echo players is that when they use their ultimate they will copy an opposing hero and generate ultimates at a much higher rate than normal. 800%. Uh, that, that's crazy. And Jax is almost online here with the Echo ult. And I mean, just the mobility you get from her uh, shift flight, as we do see uh, McDevitt cleaning up here on point. She's going to copy Batiste, going to get an immortality field out, try and stall out the point a little longer, maybe force a cap. Not yeah, quite, you really, unfortunately. You really just need all, all those little percents as, as uh, you know, in this control map, but looks like they were unable to take it, and McDevitt takes the, was it, was that the map? That should be the map, and they will go up 1-0 over Mannheim. Right. Well, I, w I wish we would have been able to get in here a little sooner to, to catch some of that. Yeah. Um, hey, we'll see the rest of them. That's true, so, yeah. I we're going to King's Row next, I believe. Mm-hmm. Always a classic. Oh, yeah, who doesn't like King's Row? Scrim's Row, Best Map Row. It's got a lot of names, and they're all correct. Absolutely. Now, one of the things that's uh, really exciting to see, um, so this Mannheim Township team, uh, you know, they have come out to our LAN events Um every single one of them and they've always placed first so it's really surprising to see them in losers finals um not even you know coming from winners to losers finals they they, they were brought down in the first round by uh baltimore rds um which is a uh, a mixed school team in the bracket that i i don't know anything about them but it's it's really surprising to see um jacks and the rest of manheim township kind of get you know knocked down here um Bishop McDevitt also comes out to a lot of our LAN events. Uh, they have a bunch of really incredible players. Um, I recognize Shingeki right away. Really flashy player. Um, yeah, this this is going to be a, a great match. I'm really excited to see who makes it out of this. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's already off to a uh, banner start. With, oh, and they switch sides, which means I need to switch sides. And I just changed the score, too. Ain't that usually how it works? Oh, no, never mind. They're not switching. I just had it swapped. Perfect. Shake it off my caster rust. I did, like, three and a half hours of casting yesterday, so I'm like... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What were you casting? So, uh, Overwatch. Uh, I, uh, I run a tournament with a few friends, just random online people, but we have about uh, 12 teams in the league. And uh, oh, that's we had super a, cool. Yeah, we had a doubleheader last night. And I was like, for, well, you know what? We're just going to cast both of them. And it was a lot, but <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, that's that's something that I've always had a big passion for and which kind of led me to, to working with Emerald. Because um, I used to run Dota 2 leagues you know, for a number of years. We had like 80-some teams in there, and it was just... Oh, wow man i was uh i was spending a few friday and saturday nights at home uh, in college <laughs> taking care of that um that's crazy but yeah it's 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 always a blast uh managing tournaments and just doing any sort of stuff to help grow an esports scene is always super rewarding to me um and overwatch is one of those games that just like it, it feels good because you get to to learn and understand every player um because everybody has their own play style i feel it's, it's a lot easier to be expressive in a game like this oh for sure especially with all the complicated hero abilities and there's no one way to play a single hero ever especially with all the varying metas and comps and mm -hmm. 
Now, one of the things that I am very interested in, uh, we see Jax over here on the defense, Soldier 76. <laughs> the legs in 2020. He's it, viable again. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I only really see him played by a lot of the Chinese Overwatch League teams. Um, yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see how uh, Jax and the rest of Mannheim Township perform here. I see we have Swerve switching off from the Echo to the Torbjorn. That's interesting. Um, I do appreciate the attack torp, though. Yeah, yeah, it's very, <laughs> very aggressive. Got the Widow upstairs for Paz as well. Kind of looking to put a little damage down onto Jax. Not getting too much value yet. Does tap him once. He is getting healed up by his own uh, biotic field. Got a Mercy Pocket as well. That's the best way to play Soldier right now. Especially on this map. The Soldier Mercy Pocket is pretty strong on defense. You just camp the heck out of that high ground. And we're starting to see the kills come in for McDevitt. Paz and Lupa are going to drop down twice and Citrus Fruit. We're going to see another kill onto Ruby as Paz goes to try and 1v1 Jax. Jax confirms the kill, but the damage is already done and there's already a tick for McDevitt on point. That's one. They're going to have to drop down and contest at some point or just give it up. And it looks like that's what they're going to do as Jax is out and McDevitt will cap point A on King's Row. Yeah, you know, that's an incredibly fast push from, uh, from McDevitt here. Um, you know, Manheim Township is going to be kind of struggling to, you know, you, you have five and a half, mi five and a half minutes in the tank. You know, it's it's really hard to defend for that long. Um, even though, you know, Kings Row has one of the the more favorably <laughs> defendable pushes. For... Certainly. I mean, you have all these like windy corners on uh, B here, where it's easy to re-engage, come back with a lot of uh, natural cover on the map. And right now we're seeing a bit of hold. Oh, but a huge shatter is out for Lupa. It gets three. It's going to take twice Ana for a ride. Pin them into the wall. Max is going to go swinging, try and push him back. Does get the kill. But uh, they're already down one. Oh, with that charge, he evens it by uh, pinning Shingeki. And uh, it is a fight all over the place right now. As we see Max just kind of hanging out on point, not doing a whole lot, letting their barrier recharge. Yeah, he's he's really camping out there. You know, he he has alt. So yeah, I guess he's just if he's, if he's oh he's not able to get it off before he's taken down. Although that's probably good. You know, uh, Township Blue is gonna have three ultimates for the next push. And, you know, they did shave a minute off that clock. Every second is going to be advantageous for them. And uh, they should be able to get another fight here. Uh, they do have Citrus Fruit kind of sitting there waiting by point B on the Moira. Ruby as well. Yep, here they go for their last fight, and we probably will see Max's Shatter come out. A Grav Shatter combo? No, we're going to see Grav Tack Visor. Yeah. We, we also Ooh, have, and uh, Jax gets dropped by Paz. That's so big. Paz coming up with two very crucial kills for McDevitt. Max Danger is going to get pinned up against the uh, payload. He is down low as well. Although we are starting to see Mannheim stabilize, and they are able to defend point B here on King's Row. Yeah, and you know, that's that's great. You know, another minute taken off the clock. We're down to 3.30 for McDevitt to make this push happen. Uh, again, it's totally possible they have the payload practically up against the objective here. So, you know, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll see soon whether or not this attack Torb is going to be paying off. Uh, McDevitt has three ultimates on their side, notably a D.Va Bomb and a Shatter. Oh, which not is blocked <laughs> by Max Danger. Rest in peace to that Shatter, although Max's Shatter gets blocked too. And now Lupa's going to have the advantage with the Nano, but Toys N is going to come in and get a very big Death Blossom. And it looks like they're going to be able to hold for a second fight here, right before point B. Yeah, you know, that, that happens. You know, sometimes when your Reinhardts go in and they, they shatter, uh, and, you know, the only target in front of the enemy team is a Reinhardt with his shield up, you're going to, you know, not really get too much utility out of that. You're not going to get too much efficiency out of it. Um... But, you know, let's see what uh, McDevitt can do with this. You know, they have two and a half minutes on the clock. Again, you know, a lot of time available. They also have uh, Molten Core coming up soon, which really great for knocking people away and from And there's the Molten objectives. Floor itself. There we go. You can have Tack Visor out as well. Beat on the side of McDevitt. Jax is just kind of getting his whole Tack Visor eaten. Uh, Darks, or I guess, uh, yeah, Dark Eagles uh, came hungry this morning because they just ate a whole Tack Visor. Or this afternoon now. 
And we are seeing the fight shift in favor of McDevitt, and they are finally going to capture point B with about two minutes left, bumping it up to three and a half for their uh, last capture attempt here on point C. I mean, that fight was a bit of an ult carnival. Everybody pressed Q. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta get aggressive. You gotta throw everything you can at their face because if not, you're gonna be stuck there for another minute and now you'll be down all your ults. So if you invest one, it's almost worth forcing yourself in the two dry fights after just to get that cap in the extra time. And uh, I, I, they are sticking with the Torb again. I don't see Torbjorn being too effective. Although, that being said, who needs a Torbolt when Loop is just going to shatter the entirety of Mannheim Township? Grab is going to help Mannheim stabilize a little bit. Yeah, and you know, I mean, something must be working for them with this Torb pick. I mean, you're two and a half minutes on the on the clock and you're almost at point C uh, you know if this is a cap that's a large time bank and townships gonna have to go into overtime <laughs> to really get this taken care of and they paint the uh, basically all the point with lava and it's gonna make it very hard to contest for Mannheim Township they are able to do it a bit but the kills are coming in for McDevitt and they're going to cap with 206 in the time bank Wow now yeah, that's, that is that's pretty, impressive. It's a pretty good time bank for King's Row. It's not stomp territory, but it's uh, very respectable. And Absolutely. I'm in interested to that, see what Township's going to do to counter this. Yeah. I mean, no, nothing at all to be too uh, ashamed of on, on Manheim Township side. I mean, King's Row is one of those maps that, you know, if you just get picked once or twice before the third point, you know, you can just get rolled. And that's how that's how all these hybrid maps are. You know, you lose a team fight and you're gonna lose that first point. And you know, if you can't, you know, stand up to it, you're just gonna get rolled over. And that is a bit what we saw. But again, normally when you see a roll like that, you see like a three minute plus time bank. So to get him down to two is pretty solid on the side of township. And it's definitely uh it's definitely a time I think they can match. Absolutely. Now we see a similar comp from Township on attack here. I don't know if they're going to be sticking with it too much. I see that Jax is on the Genji. Um, and now it was uh, Lil Uzi on the Ana last time. I don't recall who their second support was. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Uh, what I do find interesting on the side of McDevitt, they do have Swerve over onto the Fara now. This could be kind of a big pick. Uh, in terms of uh, holding Mannheim Township here, because they're going to come out expecting the attack or the defense Torb. If you run Torb on attack, you're going to run it on defense, right? But now they're just getting spammed down by rockets. Although they do have the McCree, so it's going to be a little bit tough for Swerve. All right, and we see Jax swapping out, bringing out the Widow. Probably yeah. a little bit more apt for this this attack here. Yeah, double hit scan into the Fara. That's going to be a good swap. And they are rounding first uh, corner here around the statue. They opt for the left side. Team's a bit split off. They're leaving their DPS in the back line. The first kill is out onto Ruby, however. And if you're Township here, you're going to want to back out and kind of lose this fight. But hopefully uh, not feed too much. But the kills are starting to pour in on the side of McDevitt. We do see Shingeki fall, though. And that could be very big for this next fight for Township. Yeah, Paz was really clicking some heads during that fight. Uh, some really dominant Hanzo play here. Let's see if uh, you can buy some time for him and the rest of his team. And uh, we do see Shingeki almost back with the Mercy. That's going to be very good for McDevitt. Uh, there we go. The, the good old tether to the Fara, the Fara Mercy combo. Jack's uh, rolling with Echo now, though. Ooh, and is already won. Very low, and they are going to fall to Swerve. Swerve is going to get Immortality Field and Ember Barrage. Although the kills are, it's blue and red, but it looks like McDevitt may be winning this fight and holding. It did not, not look like they got a whole lot of utility out of that last Barrage, but they do have Dragon Strike coming in. And now's the time where you give up two ticks on King's Row. Regroup is six, come back around the corner. Use Gravitic Flux, <laughs> get the okay. kill immediately under the enemy Anna, and throw Dragon in. The Dragon's a bit late, to be honest. I would have liked to see that come through as the Flux dropped everyone back to the ground, but the kills come in regardless. Yeah. 
I'm not necessarily sure about all of that ultimate commitment because now they 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 did the, uh, the the dragons, they did the Valkyrie, they did the Gravitic Flux, they did manage to hold the point, but man, that was really aggressive alt usage. Yeah, and it's they a... still have they, they still have Amp Matrix and uh, Eurissa ult, so they could have a lot of damage for this next fight. <laughs> Definitely. We are seeing the window out. Uh, no. No bongo drum yet, but that that amp matrix use does kind of hold township back a little bit. It's going to have them pushing a bit slow here. As we see McDevitt slowly back off. We do see the bongo drum now. And that's going to cause another backup for township. I mean, that's probably the best, like, outside of getting kills, the best you can hope for using these kind of ults, just free time. And we are down under a minute. Jax is going to copy the Fara, and uh, that barrage could be devastating. If played right, they could have two barrages, although Jax is going to get forced out of the Fara. Paz, again, like you said, clicking on heads, and that's going to be huge, and that could lead to a full hold. Although Ruby does get a shatter off. We are almost it, at the third tick. Jax is not letting this happen. <laughs> Jax says no. Everybody was able to pick their targets and get some picks during the fight really important they have three minutes to to get through to point b um i think i think it's possible oh for sure i mean especially like this you don't really see too much of a big hold they're able to take the uh, second corner very early so they don't have to worry about getting their whole time egg eaten up in the first archway there this is pretty good for township and they can definitely they'll probably get through in overtime but i do see them capping point b here you know, they, they did, Paz did manage to steal a Gravinic Flux and, you know, putting that to good use, repositioning the enemy team, taking control of this fight. Um, yeah, this is, this is really an all-out brawl. <laughs> yeah. It's scrappy. We do see Citrus Fruits, Amplification Matrix come out, Swerve Ults as well, does get Ruby. The kills are trading. Paz does get the pick on the uh, Echo. On the side of Jax, we are seeing Paz popping off, getting two more kills. And McDevitt is going to be able to stabilize here around the first bend. And this is disastrous for Township. Yeah, they, they used a Diva Bomb. And it just went sailing past behind the enemy lines. Uh, behind the... Some some poor some poor homeowner had a Diva Bomb outside their window. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can get that insured. Not really too much in the backyard of, of Bishop McDevitt, however. Um... Yeah, you know, they, Township does have three ults on their oh, side. Oh, man, so and the kills are coming in again. Way. This fight is over as it began for Township. Oh, no. And well, that's, Lilisvert that's really is uh, getting staggered, stuck around the corner with those grandma legs. You can't really uh, move around too quickly. And they do get pinned, separated from their team, and staggered for it. Now, I do like the rotation we're seeing out of Township. They're going to kind of sneak back around, maybe come down this back staircase... They are seen, but it's still a pretty good surprise fight, and it's going to put McDevitt on their heels. As they are forced to back away from the point with all the natural cover that Township is coming out here with. Immortality Field is out. Window is going to be used on the side of McDevitt. They're going to Amp Matrix Barrage. That's going to force Township to back off around the corners again, which is pretty great on their side. Those are two big ults to get out. And Darks is very low getting hard pocketed by both of their supports citrus fruit did drop with ult so if citrus can make it back to the point they will have an amp matrix so the township is making some progress Jax was able to, to copy the sigma and get a flux off yeah this is this is looking tough but but winnable <clears throat> for township they're they're clutching in moments where they need to the clutch they're channeling the spirit of the Philadelphia Fusion by any means necessary. <laughs> Win it in overtime every time. <laughs> every game is winnable if you click hard enough. Exactly. Oh, man. Uh, two weeks uh, ago with uh, Carpe on um, Dorado <laughs> just absolutely popping off on the Hanzo. Every time. <laughs> every time. Ant Matrix is out. Gravitic Flux is going to get everyone, though, and this could be very bad. Toys Ana Toys saving the yeah. day with wow. the high noon. That's incredible. And they are going to cap point B with a minute and a half left to go for C. 
Now, if Township is able to push this and make it to the end, M Mission McDevitt will have the opportunity to retry, and both teams will be able to uh, attempt to get farther on the point. This is overtime, and I, I think that Township can make it there. Uh, you know, they do have an Orissa ult. They're a little far away from everything else. Um, but honestly, pretty equal with McDevitt as far as ults go. This is just going to be a brawl from here out. Certainly is. And old advantage is unfortunately a bit in favor of McDevitt on the hold here. And McDevitt did just get the amp matrix, so... That's huge. Uh, you know, they, they can totally hang on to that and camp out right down in this hallway, you know. Township has 40 seconds. It looks like they're backing off from the point. Maybe going to do some hero swapping and... Yeah, I mean, we, we just see Jack switch onto an Ash, hopefully trying to cheese some of that Bob. And I mean, yeah, you're running into double shield. You want that shield break now. Bob's definitely going to be the ticket. It's a faster building ult. Yeah, but now do you think that they can get a Bob up in 15 seconds? It's certainly going to be an overtime, and if Jax does it, it'll be the play of their life. Yeah, we do have a nano boosted Sigma on the side of Mannheim Township. Scary. Ru Ruby is trying their hardest. You know, they're holding off most of the team, but they were. Oh! Oh man, the kills are coming in for McDevitt. Dragon's coming through to seal off the point, and that's as far as we're going to see the cart go for Township because McDevitt is going to pick up their second map win. Yeah, that's that's a uh, you know honestly a, a pretty commanding performance from oh, and the tour play of the game. <laughs> Oh, and it was this big Molten Core here right at the end of King's Row. It was massive. It stopped a lot of the contest. And uh, good turret placement, getting a few kills out of that. Just kind of sneaking down, dropping Ruby on the Zarya as well. Wow, 52 eliminations, 68% kill participation for Swerve. That is massive. Mm -hmm. And we will be moving over to Hanamura for potentially the last map. Unless Township says no and starts the uh, tried and true Philly reverse sweep. <laughs> oh, I've seen I've seen too many of those on the sidelines. I don't know if, if I can if I can handle that right now. Oh man, yeah, that's a uh, that's uh, always gets me screaming at a screen of some kind. Probably takes a few months off the end of my life and damage to my heart, but you know, and it's it's. It always seems to be Paris right now for Philly. Exactly, exactly. MCD. Oh, I keep saying McDevitt. That's my bad. Well, we will just call them MCD for now on. Mostly CD. <laughs> so there's very little McDevitt. He's just saying a stupid thing. All right, well, we appreciate the heads up, Paz. <laughs> I don't know when people are memeing in chat or not. Right, right, but... You know, we are going to lovely Hanamura. Uh, you know, I, I, I've always thought that this map is one of the more striking out oh, it's, of Overwatch's it's pretty. stable. It's, it's gorgeous. The, the reds and pinks and golds of the map really, really sing to me. Yeah, um, they, uh, they clearly let the devs have a lot of fun designing this one. You got Mount Fuji in the background. I assume yeah, that's Mount that's, Fuji. I don't know much about Japan. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, I believe that is Mount Fuji. That's one of the things that I always neglect whenever I am playing overwatch you know i never take a moment to look at the scenery because i'm always trying to get my butt on the point you know? <laughs> <laughs> like when i'm playing as moira and i have five out of six golds i gotta carry you know That's yeah it. someone's got a dps <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no um but you know speaking of of seeing the the world sing to me i'm really interested to see what ruby can do with this sigma um i was really impressed with their performance um towards the end of king's row there they really held the, the the payload as long as they could at the end of king's row um you know Jax is starting out with the ash so I, we could see some shenanigans going on um but paz has been very very dominant on the echo Ooh, and when you get a chance uh the uh twitch is still saying uh super smash brothers ultimate for the game oh 
all right, yes. Let me let me change that. Yeah, no worries. Just something I caught out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, oh, that's gonna throw a lot of people off. A big anti nade though out of citrus fruit early could halt the push here. Although the kills are still coming in for MCD. As we do see Mannheim Township pushed off to the side of the point. Not a bad spot. They do have the numbers advantage. They can play this one slow and perhaps still hold the defense. Although that being said, Toys Ana is popping off and just play as fast as you want. We do see Lupa come back and get a big pin onto Citrus Fruit. And it's going to fall Jax as well. Swerve's going to get the kill onto Toys Ana. Luzvert does get the uh, revive off onto Jax. And we're going to see MCD back off, and Township is going to be able to hold here on Hanamura Point A with no tick. This is very surprising because for a second there, MCD had full control of the point. And we're going to see a big stag onto Ruby, however, as the kills come back in for MCD, and they're going to capture Hanamura. That was a crazy quick regroup and fight, and that was very impressive on the side of MCD. That's uh, some very organized team play that uh you don't usually see the discipline for until you get to the pro level of overwatch gotta tip my hat to them there jack's getting an early pick onto paz though that's gonna force them to kind of take their time here and that will stop this any snowball attempt they could have had as they do have a bit of an old advantage dynamite is gonna come in lights shingeki on fire nothing in on can't fix and we're seeing a bit of like a, a scrappy poke fight going on between the two teams here. Just out in the courtyard here on Hanamura. Jax's dynamite goes sailing by, not going to get much. We're going to see uh, Dark's Eagles up here trying to force uh, Jax off the high ground, but they lose their mech for it. They do get Shingeki. back with their team. Shingeki's been leading this charge on the Lucio, Lucio here. Um, Swerve getting a little bit of uh, use out of that uh, Deadeye. Taking down Citrus Fruit, that's going to that's gonna hurt township's push here that's a good bob though we are gonna see bob. jacks fall though to pass very last second to the sticky bombs but, you know it, it it's fine you know the, yeah. the, the ash was able to use the bob ultimate you know she she did her job mm -hmm. <gasps> this could be a big high noon beat is out everybody does get to cover yeah the rhine is supercharged channeling the energy of sato <gasps> that's a be, oh man, ults are just coming out on both sides, and we are we are into ultimate carnival territory as Mannheim Township is going to use everything. Although MCD does play a bit more conservative, and that's going to give them a huge advantage in the ult economy, at least oh, for the no. next two fights. You know, I just realized that I had the, the two sides mixed up. I thought that Township was attacking, and I'm just losing my mind here a little bit. It's been a long day so far. Understandable. <laughs> Everyone's losing their minds a little bit right now. That's just kind of how things are. Oh, absolutely. But I'm going to I'm gonna lose my mind and watch Paz here uh, getting ready to use an Echo ultimate, positioning himself, and he's taken Ooh, out. Oh, Citrus Fruit the getting the crucial kill. I, I wanted to see a uh, Reinhardt copy. I love seeing the two Reinhardts. That's like my favorite Echo thing. <laughs> Jax, though, absolutely showing up. Absolutely clicking on heads. Eat my words. And know. playing out of their mind. 100%. And we'll follow along with uh, Jax for the next fight. Just to commend them for their well played. I haven't seen this Ash skin before. Which one is this? It's kind of a fancy hat. Uh, is that the one from the... the mardi gras event uh i don't think so maybe not it's um, cool regardless you know mcdevitt's in a little bit of a bind here they lost the lucio at the start of the fight however they do still have three ultimates but I i'm not sure if the ana is going to be enough to bob's keep in the team alive yeah that's a that's a seven on five fight yeah um, they're not going to take it <laughs> i don't know shingeki's almost here healing is on the way they're going to rotate back down to main, come across the bridge here. And I mean, you guys got four ults. Now's the time to make them work. Ash gets copied, although Max, Danger, and Twice Anna are going to take care of that push very quickly. Half the team gets taken out almost instantly. That's, man, that, that's always hard to see. Um, you know, uh, MCD does have three or two minutes left on the, on the time bank. 
You know, let's see what they can do. You can totally make a two uh, a point B push in two minutes. Oh, for sure. I mean, this this point can be won and lost very quickly. Uh, unfortunately, the old economy is just about even now. And uh, the advantage that MCD had in that regard is gone. And uh, we're just ne gonna need to see a pretty aggressive push out for them. They are gonna get the early pin onto Jax. That's huge out of Lupa. Anti Nate is gonna top everybody off. We're gonna see Ruby playing up on the high ground. They're just gonna ignore and then counter with Dark's Eagles. Ruby does have ultimate. Oh, that's a huge that charge. Oh, and Lupa is separated from their team. They could die for it. No, they get the kill into Max Danger. Paz is gonna take out. Lose Fair and Toys Ana as well. And we are almost at one tick here for MCD on Hanamura. Bob is in though, and this could be the game changer. Beat is gonna be invested. Luna's low. Luna's gonna charge Bob into the side room here. That's pretty impressive, actually. And a huge shatters out for Lupa. Toys Ana is gonna high noon to kind of counter a bit of that. Catch Paz. Meanwhile, Swerve's just like, well, you guys do that. I'm just gonna start killing people because I'm bored. Although we're going to see MCD kind of back off a little bit. Swerve is going to hop back on point, push the percentage a little bit higher. And we are down to 30 seconds to go as we see about 52.1% uh, is going to be as far as MCD gets for that push. I mean, that was a that was a crazy fight. <laughs> it was. You know, that that's just some of the stuff that, that Ash brings to the table, that, that Diva brings to the table. Just some crazy stuff going on in general. Max Danger is going to get a very early pin on the Dom. That's your main support down. And the kills are going to start to come in for Township. And uh, the 62.9 might be as much as we see for MCD. Swerve is going to touch the point, but take an anti nade as retribution. Toysana is just going to press Q because they can. And 62.9% is all we see out of MCD. So Township has their win condition. Absolutely, you know, you get to point B, you get that, what is that, you, all you need is the is the second tick, just about, and, you know, Township can take it. I mean, that's that's the, uh, the big advantage of defending first. You know what you need to do to win the map. Whether Absolutely. it be uh, everything, or in this case, 62 point, or well, 63%. On, yeah, uh, well, B. even 63% will take them over the, over the finish line <laughs> here for this map. And I mean, it's not too uncommon on Hanamura to not see a full cap. It's uh, probably the second worst point B in terms of uh, having to crack a defense. It's just so close. There's spawns. You literally walk out and you're at the point with a free little mini high ground. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, And like the, the, the narrow corridors to get in, it's just that the chokes are in. Incredible on Hanamura. Um, I think the only map that comes kind of close to it is, is Anubis. Um, you know, Horizon Lunar Colony is awful. I would say, yeah, Lunar all, Colony is awful. <laughs> all of these assault maps are really punishing um, for the attacking team. It's, defi it's definitely a, a defense-focused game mode. Uh, and there's a reason why uh, 2CP is uh, one of the most hated map types in Overwatch. As we do see a bit of an interesting uh, high ground start here for uh, Swerve and Shingeki on the Far Mercy. We are going to see Farah Echo. They are a very mobile DPS duo right now. I've seen a lot of good combo and the kill's already in. They were looking to get an early telly onto first point. Very popular attack here on Hanamura. And Toys Ana is down. And now uh, MCD uh, knows what their playbook says. They got to read. Oh, and we're asking for a pause. And I'm not in charge, so I can't do that. Aren't we able to do that as spectators? Uh, no, it has to be the person in charge of the map, which is... There we go. There's the pause. Citrus Fruit. Uh, but again, uh, oh, internet problems. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, but again, a very big first pick to swerve onto, uh, twice on his Symmetra. I mean, now they know they want to teleport straight to point. That's their play, and MCD is going to do everything in their power to stop that now that they know to expect it. And that's a pretty big surprise lost for Township. Um, but it's, it's not unsurmountable. 
Um, they're gonna you're gonna see Paz and Swerve spending a lot of their time in the air, just being highly mobile heroes. Uh, the best way to kind of deal with that is just kind of play cover, maybe going through the uh, houses, take the back route to point, uh, just kind of ignore the choke as much as you can, try and get as much cover from the sky as you can get. Uh, Swerve though, already at 87% to Barrage. Um, that could be a bit disastrous for uh, Township. We'll certainly see how it plays out. It could be. Now, one of the things that I, I'd like to, to point out here is that Ruby is playing the Hog. You you really don't see a whole lot of Road Hog anymore. Um, I can't remember the last time that I saw it seriously used in competitive, so it'll be really interesting. Is this a pocket pick? Is this desperation? Does Ruby just have a gut feeling that Hog is the way to go? I mean, if they can get a, if they can get Road Hog onto point with the immortality field out of Batiste, that's going to be really difficult for Swerve and Paz to kill because there's not a lot of uh, pressure you can put onto this point A from the sky. That's true, yeah. And we'll see if Citrus could get uh, some some sleep darts out that'll give Ruby some easy hooks. Because, you know, I mean, like, the hook into the shoddy, you know, that's, that's just easy. That's easy money. That's an easy kill. That's easy advantage. Um, I'm really interested to see how they uh, pull it off. Has it been five minutes? No, it has not been five minutes. <laughs> it's been like two minutes. Am I losing my mind here? Oh, getting the R's out on the side of MCD. Looks like the internet may have recovered on their end. Maybe somebody in their house started streaming Netflix. They got to run downstairs and tell them to stop. Yeah, streaming nature documentaries in 4K. Yo, that's the way to do it, though. At Two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. That's high living. Planet Earth. Go. You know, the unpause is coming out. <laughs> and here we are. What, what an uncomfortable point to start back up. <laughs> yeah. the, the beginning of a fight. Jeez. Oh, and we do see another early pick on a twice Ana. They just can't get the telly set up. It's really hard to set up on this point without a May, especially with the uh, the sky pressure you're getting from Jackson's uh, Paz and Swerve. Uh, normally yeah. you see a May walk come up blocking the choke. You set that telly up and your team uh, rides it to victory. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to see that. Uh, you're seeing the bit more aggressive McCree pick by Jax, and that's leaving twice on a and a Rhine barrier to try and set up Telly. We do see it out, finally. Oh, the Swerve's just gonna rotate around and barrage it, and it's huge. Swerve was just waiting. Swerve knew it was gonna happen. They let the Telly get set up. It's like, oh, thanks for play of the game, Toysana. <laughs> that, that's gotta hurt. That's, that's devastating. That's almost swap off of, <laughs> Specs clipped that. Oh uh, yeah, where are you not, Swerve? That was pretty massive. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, the and, and twice on a switching off of the Symmetra onto the Soldier. One of the things that I would really like to see is a, is a Genji or a Hanzo or, or even a Widowmaker to help get Township over these walls here. Because that seems to be one of the harder things that they've had to deal with as they just walk through the gate and make me eat my own words here and, op and uh, occupy the first house on the right. So we are seeing the, uh, the uh, rotate around through the uh, high ground in the house with a bit more cover for Swerve and Paz. Although Paz, that being said, it's just gonna stay on the ground and kill everybody. Yeah, gonna shoot through that amp matrix that uh, Lil Uzi Vert set up. Man, that's that's just gotta hurt. This Echo is a dominant hero right now. Nobody really Especially knows how to play the, around uh, in Echo because uh, she's getting... so new in the game. But you know, Paz is making it look like an old favorite. Oh, for sure, for sure. And if it weren't for that huge ultimate, uh, out of Swerve we saw earlier, I would kind of give player this match to Paz as they have been performing on several different heroes. But that Absolutely. that barrage was insane. <laughs> I uh, I have the uh, clip queued up, and uh, I'll clip it as soon as we're done here. <laughs> oh man, Jax is gonna yeah, come out on the Reinhardt. The pit. Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> there it is. I love the Reinhardt copy. It's so aggressive because you get basically a bonus extra live when you use Echo's ultimate. You can just be the most aggro Reinhardt ever, build your ultimate in two swings of the uh, hammer, and uh, just absolutely devastate a team not expecting it. Man, why does Sigma have to scream when he's absorbing damage? It's the weirdest thing in the world, and it just, well, like, makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. S Sigma is an acquired taste of a hero. Um, I'm more in favor of this new Echo as, as you know, like, Paz and Lupa are comboing to kind of disrupt the enemy team here. Um, Citrus does get the sleep guard off on the Paz, but nobody's really around <laughs> to, to capitalize. Oh, Swerve, though. Uh, Citrus needs to finish the job. Swerve kind of cleans up the rest of the team, and Citrus says, you know what, uh, I'm going to at least take down Paz. And uh, we're going to see uh, MCD take the third map and the win in this loser's bracket final, and they are going on to the grand final. Yeah, and that'll be against Baltimore RD, uh, which, you know, that'll be an exciting match. Um, let's. I I'm going to go and see if I can round them up so we can start this match sooner. So then uh, after we watch uh, Jax's pretty masterful play of the game here, I will move us over to our Be Right Back screen and we'll see y'all in a second. 